Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Vahim Mehta bringing you another video today on split toning in Lightroom. Now, the reason I wanted to create a tutorial on this is I want to teach you guys, I want to teach you guys how to color grade your photographs. For this is the exact tool you would use to create your own style, whether it's the teal and orange look or any other color palette that you desire to stand out on Instagram or whatever it is that you are editing for. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome. I hope you guys learned something today. Do hit that subscribe button and without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump right into it. So in order for split toning to work really well, your image needs to have a huge contrast. By that what I mean is I have bright spots here and I have a majority of the image in shadows. As you can see in split toning you are not working with mid-tones so it needs to have that big contrast for you to get like a nice color grade. Just stick around with me I just want to quickly explain this idea. As you can see this is like purple and magenta in the shadows and greens in the highlights. It's a very nice contrasty gradient I created. Now watch what happens is if I increase the shadow. You can see that the magenta starts disappearing and the split toning will not look as good as it's supposed to. But anyways, coming back to our color grade. Now this image looks beautiful on its own. It has really nice colors, but I'm going to show you how we can take the same image and give it three very different color grades. Of course, you don't have to copy my values because they will very likely not work for you. But just to give an idea, I want to show you. So for the first one, I'm going to turn it into like a nice pinkish reddish sort of uh, color grade so I'm going to leave the highlights add red sort of and bump this up to 40 I'm gonna take this all the way up to a nice purple and that looks good to me. Now you can see that the majority of the image is in highlights and I want to shift the balance a bit more towards shadow side so I'm gonna just move the balance towards shadows. So your left is shadows and your right is highlights and this is your before and this is after. So that was your pink color grade. So the next one we're going to do is we're going to give it like a blue purple sort of vibe. One of the cool things about split toning is that it works independently of your HSL tool. What I mean by that is you could change values or even remove colors in your HSL tool but still be able to add those exact same colors to your highlights or shadows using split toning. Pretty cool, right? So I'm going to bump this all the way up and bump up the saturation. That looks good to me. I'm going to take the shadows, bump them all the way up and my saturation to a nice purple. And as you can see, we have a beautiful cinematic color grade before, after. And for the last one, I'm gonna give it like a nice warm color grade, like a yellow orange sort of look. So I'm gonna bump this up. That looks good to me. I'm gonna bump up the saturation again. As you can see, I have like some nice greenish yellows in the highlights and some orange yellow in the shadows. And that looks good to me. This is before, this is after. And as you can see, we took that exact same image and gave it three very different color grades which give different moods and it kind of gives your image a whole different meaning. And that's about it. That was a quick and short tutorial on split toning and how you can add a unique style to your photographs. If you like this video, please let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe to this channel and I shall see you guys next time. Take care.